Hi, this is Dr. Cairns with a brief lecture on compensating with incentives, or as I like to say, what's in it for me. This is coming from the Society of Human Resource Management, Module 4, Compensation and Benefits. So compensating with incentives. How do incentives affect performance-based pay plans? What types are there? There are individual employee incentives we'll talk about in a moment. Sales compensation plans that we're probably most familiar with. And then there are some that will uh, provide incentives for working in a group or a team. And then there are those incentives that go across organization level based on organization performance. So the first in individual incentives are variable pay that's related to piecework. There's a straight piecework plan and there's a standard hour plan. The straight piecework plan compensates you for a set certain amount that you will produce. If you produce above that, you'll get an incentive. On the standard hour plan, it's somewhat similar except it's based on a percentage by which the person exceeds the amount of the standard. So X percentage uh, you receive uh, a, a, uh, an incentive. The pros and cons of piecework uh, are one, it's easily, be under, easily understandable uh, and it's also equitable and can be powerful in terms of incentivizing people. It can also uh, where there's resistance to changes in the standards. So uh, employees get accustomed to a certain piecework and then an organization may decide, you know what, that's too easy to make and they want to raise it. Well, employees will want to resist that, of course. And then problems in quality can arise uh, as a result of an overriding focus on output. So if we're only focused on what people produce, uh, you need to make sure you have quality assurance in that as well. Then there's also the possibility of violating minimum wage standards and this may come into uh, work. The best way would be when we think about waiters or waitresses, uh, they may not be guaranteed, they are guaranteed rather a minimum wage, uh, but uh, if they exceed that with their tips, then uh, they'll receive it. But if they don't, then they have to make sure that they are paid uh, that amount. So then we have look at merit pay and what is that? Well, that's a salary increase uh, that an organization may award to employee based on their own individual performance. And so the merit pay uh, can, is different from a bonus uh, because it usually becomes part of their uh, base salary and will continue on where a bonus pay is a one-time lump sum payment and it's not recurring. And there are merit pay options. Some is based on individual performance and then of course you can uh, do one based on individual and organization performance, which this table shows. For example, on the right-hand side, organization performance is equal to half of what that person's merit increase might be. And it's based on does the organization exceed its expectations or, or not. The same with the employee's uh, performance uh, level as well. So something uh, to, uh, to think about there. So continue on looking at individual incentives. We see uh, there could be some for uh, bonus stock. These are various kinds of incentives, bonuses, stock options, ability to uh, share in the profits of the company. Uh, you get uh, more vacation. You may have flexible work hours. Uh, there could be improvements to pension plans. These are, are somewhat well known. And then there are others that uh, will happen as a, as a result of recognition uh, where you've had an effect on the organization's performance. Uh, in a positive way and that can be recognized by other kinds of uh, financial uh, incentives and these can be like special award programs. When I was with NBC we had uh, various recognition programs that were uh, spot awards. They were uh, things that could be done based on something that happened, an individual event for example. So let's look at salary incentives, which I said are probably the kind that we're most familiar with. And you're also going to have a case study where you're going to design a new sales compensation plan. So looking at salary plans, there, there are those that are associated with, with straight salary. And that uh, might be similar to uh, the piecework uh, where you get paid for uh, a straight amount, no uh, additional compensation, but a commission plan uh, could be based on uh, some percentage of sales uh, and it can also sometimes be in addition to a salary plan and sometimes that salary you might see like 80% salary, 20% commission, those kinds of combination uh, types of plans. 
and then team or group incentives we look at those and that can be based off of what uh, a group uh, produces and it's pretty much dependent upon really a team effort uh, some of the criticisms of team or group incentives are the fact that uh, individuals may uh, not perform at the same level but they'll benefit as a result of the the overall team uh, performance but you can see that you can design those uh, based on individual work that needs to be productivity happens there uh, then members are based on uh, compensated by the production of the entire group and then uh, based upon the overall group performance so some pros and cons are uh, creating these plans obviously increases the cohesion or commitment of the group uh, team incentives they encourage uh, cooperation and training each individual needs to be able to know their job and so it encourages that uh, however some of the downside are high performing employees uh, they may not receive uh, the pay that's uh, that's tied to their uh, effort that they put forward they may put forward uh, something greater than someone else's and that can then lead to uh, uh, disincentives on the part of those high performers who don't want to really participate in group uh, incentives where uh, it's tied to how the group performs and then organization level incentives are looking across profit sharing type plans where uh, the company's annual profits uh, that uh, employees can share in some type of that uh, there are uh, different aspects of that cash plans where uh, they receive shares of the, pro the firm's uh, profitability uh, and then you have uh, what they call a Lincoln incentive system profits are distributed to employees based on their own individual merit rating what they've received there so that uh, kind of uh, incentivizes individual performance as well and then deferred profit sharing plans are those that obviously you participate but it's deferred to a to a later uh, period of time. Employee stock option ownership plans are something ESOPs are something that uh, we probably have heard a lot or you've heard a lot about. And uh, what is that? Well, that's where a firm contributes uh, some shares of its own stock uh, or cash uh, to purchase that stock into a trust for the employees. So the employees uh, will own a stock, but it's it's put off. It's not. Uh, something there's no taxes due on that and it's uh, deferred to a to a later period of time uh, what this does is uh, the companies can get a tax deduction as a result of making these based on the fair market value of the shares at the time and there's a potential that it'll protect the company where there's more ownership uh, from a, say a, a takeover effort from another company uh, there be all that stock outstanding uh, needs to be uh, accounted for gain sharing plans uh, how they're different are their incentive plans that engage many or all employees uh, in some kind of common effort to achieve the company's objectives and goals and to increase overall efficiency so any result of say a, a cash, uh, cost savings gains uh, could be shared across employees so it's not necessarily tied to the overall profitability but could be operational elements as well and then uh, variable pay plans are supposed to be at risk so it places a portion of the employees weekly pay is at risk uh, and this sometimes is tied to uh, a kind of a sales comp uh, concept where uh, if you don't meet the goals you don't earn the money and uh, so obviously uh, there are some uh, disadvantages to these types of things so ask yourself uh, what type of uh, change in a plan or a plan type would you uh, like to uh, find yourself working under so let's talk about something that happens with incentives for managers uh, and uh, these are things that are somewhat uh, limited in, in scope and they usually are based upon where you are in the organization hierarchy so uh, annual bonuses that are based on uh, how the company did uh, sometimes companies set funds aside where they'll distribute that that funds they don't necessarily have to come out of the profits uh, but they typically have to have some money that is designated for that uh, they can also award stock options to employees and stock options used to be uh, something uh, really valued uh, then uh, but they're only tied to how the stock performs so say you're uh, given a stock option of ten dollars and uh, it will mature at some point further on down the, the road 
uh, usually uh, uh, three to five years later. If that stock is trading at $20, you've made a net profit of 10. If that stock is trading at $8, uh, you will not receive anything because it's lost money. So companies have looked at those and they've actually gone to something called restricted stock options. And that is that they'll issue a certain number of stock options to you. Say they give you 100 shares at $10 a share, uh, that's valued at $1,000. Uh, that is restricted and it's tied and guaranteed that when you go to exercise those options, you will be paid at least $1,000 for the restricted stock options. If it raises above that, you'd be able to participate in that increase. Those are generally given out in uh, smaller amounts than perhaps uh, stock options. So think of, of uh, those companies that are startup companies that issue you uh, tons of uh, stock options that are tied to the company maybe going private and uh, making a certain amount on paper. You look like you've made a lot of money, but you haven't until you actually can exercise those as well. And then there are performance plans value that's based on achieving some kind of, uh, of long-term uh, goals and their incentives that uh, look at over a multi-year uh, type of period. So these are examples of various uh, incentive plans. For more information concerning incentives and compensating people with incentives, uh, refer to the Society of Human Resource module for compensation and benefits.